Hi, I'm Jeff with Fit and Fearless, and we're going to talk about wrist wraps. Uh, these are elastic, 180 inch wrist wraps. We use them to protect our wrists and pat our knuckles during training. I'm going to give you a quick little demo on how we put them on. So first thing we do is they're going to come out of the package like this. You're going to fold the Velcro over once, twice, and then just roll them all the way Get started, I'm going to find this side down. I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to put it over my thumb. I'm going to put my hand forward and slightly at an angle. The reason I do that is I don't want to wrist, hold my wrist in this position, I want to hold it in this position the way I punch with those top two knuckles driven forward. Comes over. So there isn't really a right or wrong way to do this. What's important is that I, I protect this wrist joint and I pad my knuckles. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna go up and over the wrist. I'm gonna zigzag as opposed to running a whole bunch of times just in one line over the wrist joint. And the more I zigzag, the stronger, the more protection I will get on that joint. And then at some point, I'm going to use this angle to kind of come up, go all the way around the finger, 360 degrees, and back down to this side. Each time I go around, I'm going to make a fist and then open it again, just to make sure I'm not wrapping my hand too tight that I won't be able to make a comfortable fist during class. So there I go, number two. Number three, I come up the angle, 360 degrees around the finger, and back down, make a fist. Last finger, down, I make a fist again. So now I'm just gonna kinda go around the knuckles a couple of times, just to kinda hold everything tight and secure. And then whatever I have left, I'm gonna spend on my wrist, securing that position. Now when I feel like I'm getting towards the end, I'm gonna go down my wrist a little bit so that I can have the Velcro a little further up my forearm where it's not gonna scratch me or my partner. So what you need to be concerned about when you're wrapping your hands uh, are two things. One, that it's not so tight that it's cutting off the circulation in your fingers. Uh, it will loosen up as you warm up and, and get a little sweaty and just, just over the first couple of minutes. Uh, but if you feel your fingers getting cold like 10 or 15 minutes into class, you need to take it off and rewrap. And conversely, the other challenge is not making it so loose that it falls off during class. After class, when these are supposedly nice and sweaty, um, leave them loose. So when I take them off, I'm just going to take them off. I'm not going to try and re-roll them now. I'm going to make sure that they're dried out. So maybe I leave them overnight, not in a bag, not in anything enclosed. You want the moisture uh, to go away and then you can kind of roll them up again tomorrow. They can be washed. They can go in the washer in a lingerie bag. Um, as opposed to if you put them in loose, you're going to spend the evening uh, untying your laundry. Uh, for more information on wraps and other training equipment, please visit Krav Maga blog at fitandfearless.com. Thank you.